it's safe to say that there are some pretty powerful weapons for epic gamers in Terraria, but they can't all be. Therefore, I've compiled the ultimate list of weapons to avoid. The trash ones. The ones that suck. The ones that you obtain and then you just chuck in the garbage straight away because they don't deserve space in your inventory. Alright, anyway, enough suspense and rambling. These are the top five worst, most dumpster fire weapons in Terraria as of this build. 1.3.5. This could be totally you know, nulled in future builds and this video could become redundant. But don't dislike it. Keep watching. You may learn something. Alright, so we're going to start off with some dishonorable mentions. First of all, wooden boomerang. You know, early game weapon. Not very good. Second, the flintlock pistol. Now, the reason why this is here is because it's the worst gun in the game. And to get this weapon, you need to have the arms dealer who you can only obtain as an NPC by already having a gun in your inventory. Now, if the flintlock pistol is the worst gun, there's no point in getting it. So that's why it's a dishonorable mention. And my final dishonorable mention goes to the Meow Meow. Why? You, it's, you know, it's one of the best swords in the game to some extent. You know, super powerful, really powerful. I don't know, it's powerful, whatever. But have you listened to it? Have you tried to use this sword without getting a headache? It is the worst thing ever. Oh my goodness. It is, oh, and I know I'm going to get hate for this, I know, M10's cancelled, M10 is over party, whatever. You know, it's just so annoying. So that is why it gets a dishonorable mention spot. Other than that, it's a pretty good weapon. Anyway, yeah. Alright, moving on to the list proper. Here we go. Drum roll plate, yeah, okay, whatever. At number five, we have the wooden bow. Yeah, the wooden bow. A uh, very basic starter weapon, range damage, base damage of 4 plus whatever arrow you're using, use time of 30, and no knockback. Not really much to say about this one, I guess. Uh, it's a craftable weapon, super easy, super early game, you can craft it on your first night, uh, but I would more recommend crafting one of the other wooden bows. Like, maybe like a boreal one. Mahogany wood bow. It just there's no real point in getting this one. You know, it doesn't doesn't do much knockback. Once if there's more than one enemy, it's kind of useless. You know, it'll 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 work against you know, one zombie, but when it comes to more zombies or demonized, you know, it's it's not very accurate. Nothing like that. Just don't really don't really go for it. The number four slot goes to the magic weapon. The Wand of Sparking. This is the earliest magic weapon you can get in the game. It has a base damage of 8, a use time of 28, no knockback, and uses 2 mana per shot. Now, because of how easy it is to obtain, it's not a very good weapon. Uh, it's the earliest magic weapon you can get in the game, and, and definitely the worst. Um, you fire like these, these tiny little sparks that have very little range. And they're just, they're just not very good, like, they don't deal any knockback. The bonus is, the, the good thing is you can set enemies on fire and, you know, you can still get a few shots out. But the thing is, you're only using this early in the game, and that may mean, you know, you don't have much mana, so you can only fire, like, ten or so shots. It's it's a functional weapon, but it's, it's not very good, it's not very accurate or anything like that. And unless you're playing a mage-only playthrough, I would recommend skipping this weapon. Okay, number three. We have the blowpipe. Now the blowpipe is a bit of a pet peeve of mine and I'll explain this in a sec. It's a ranged weapon with a base damage of nine, a very slow use time, weak knockback, and it uses seeds as an ammo type. Now, when I get this weapon, I chuck it in the bin straight away. I don't like having to deal with seeds in my inventory. Basically, when you have a blowpipe in your inventory, your character will automatically pick up seeds from the grass and plants around. And I don't like it. I don't like them. It's the only weapon that uses them as ammo other than the blowgun, but like, it's it's just not worth having. It's slow, it's sluggish, it's not like it, the hitbox on it's tiny. It, it, the actual velocity of the projectile is slow. It's just not very good. I'd avoid. Definitely avoid. There are better ranged weapons out there early game. It's just annoying. 
Am I overreacting? Probably, yeah, but I just don't like this weapon. With that being said, you can find this weapon in wooden chests on the surface biome. It's very easy to get. Um, but yeah, I just don't see the point in getting it. Alrighty, number two. There's two left. What could it be? It is the sand gun. The sand gun. Yeah, this thing. It is a ranged weapon with a base damage of 30, a use time of 16, average knockback, and you're probably wondering, well, that sounds pretty good. Why on earth would this be, you know, in the worst weapons? That, that deals a lot of DP. It, it shoots sand. Who thought this would be a good idea? Other than the tooltip. The devs knew what was going on with this one. They were like, they pulled a sneaky on us all. They still haven't patched the thing that this sh Oh, it's... Uh, never get this weapon. It's expensive. It costs, like, illegal gun parts to get this thing. And it fires sand. You end up with sand everywhere. This is just the ultimate tool for griefers to muck around on multiplayer and destroy everything. And if you're thinking of fighting a boss with this weapon, well, say goodbye to your arena because you're going to be spending more time cleaning up the place because of all the sand that's left everywhere. Like, it lands on platforms, it lands on everything. Oh, it's, it's really bad. It's the only weapon where you can suffocate yourself in game. Yeah, that's right, you can die from using this weapon if you don't use it properly because the sand can fall on you. The sand acts the exact same way. And the thing is, if you don't want it, like, it's it's weird because sometimes the sand will only fall if you miss your target, but sometimes you hit your target and the sand falls. It's a mess. It's terrible. Do not use this weapon. Do not bother getting this weapon. It is bad. And finally, the number one worst weapon, the Copper Short Sword. You all know it. You all know this weapon. It is a melee weapon. Base damage of 5, very few use time, weak knockback, it's the default weapon when you start the game, except if you're on mobile, it's a copper sword there, which is a lot better. The copper short sword has a tiny little range, only stabs in one direction. That's about it. Unless, unless in 1.4 it becomes a material for like the best sword in the game, which I think, I hope it'll happen. I have a, I have a hunch, because there's a mod for that called like the true copper short sword it becomes really good and powerful so if that's the case keep this weapon around but until then just chuck it in the trash straight away first thing you do chuck it in the trash you're better off using the pickaxe and the axe alrighty so now we are at the end of the video and you have all learnt what the five worst weapons in Terraria are do you disagree with this list probably I uh, uh, but you know this is just my opinion it is a very good opinion, like I said in my previous top 5, it is a very good opinion, but if you disagree, I understand. Anyway, please make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment, share your list in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you all think are the worst 5 weapons in Terraria, 1.3.5. Anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!